I'm living with my parents in New York City. I'm 31 and I'm broke. It ain't pretty. I need a girl to set me free from my crazy family. I gotta get up out of the basement. I gotta get you into my heart. I'm taking a chance to find a romance. because I thought we would be in this like big crazy mansion, but really it's just like a real home with like a real family in it. Now that we're all here together, I want to welcome all of you girls to my house. I'm Susan, Frank's mother, and this is Gary's father. Knowing that I'm gonna have to live with Frank's parents, I'm kind of like, how's it gonna be? I just hope Frank's mom isn't psychotic and she decides to come downstairs and bust in on me and Frank's private time. One of you lucky girls may end up my daughter-in-law. <laughs> All the girls seem to be a lot different than me. I was <laughs> just like, whoa, like, what are you guys wearing? Like, it's just, to me, it's a little bit cheesy, that's all. I'm very, very excited at the prospect of Frank falling in love with one of you guys and moving on up and out of the basement. <laughs> When I saw Frank on I Love New York, I always like had a crush on him. Something like draws me to him. I'm like, I just want to get the chance to like meet him because I know once I do, like I can get him. And I want Frank. <laughs> One of you lucky ladies will be getting a really nice, caring young man. Oh my god. I think Frank is totally sexy. I love like his shaved head and his body is like amazing. And I'm also really hot too. Me and Frank can make it together. While you're here in this house, you will be as if you are our family. And we expect you, in return, to treat us the same way with respect. If all you ladies do that, we will have a fine time for as long as you're in the house. Frank's parents lay down the rules. Like, you're going to be living in our house, you better obey our rules or you're out. So I was like, crap. We're going to get along fine. The time has finally come for you to meet my son, Frank. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. Where's my boyfriend? Like, where's Frank? Can he come out already? Like, I want to go knock on the basement door. OK. Oh my God. Go close. <laughs> Frank! I think Frank would be the best guy for me because, honestly, we'd probably be really attracted to each other. <laughs> come up, unless you're deaf. Frank is, you know, such a man. and strong and sexy. There he is. Wow. I see his body, and it's like, hmm, me want to touch. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm going to touch his pecs. <laughs> he can touch mine, too, if he wants. <laughs> wow. I see, well, I see you already met my parents, yeah. and we welcome you to our family. Wow, everybody looks beautiful. Holy yeah. cow. This is already tough. Everyone's. <laughs> it is going to be very tough. Man, when I walked out of the basement and I saw those girls, my heart was beating fast. And I'm like, wow, this is happening. There's 15 girls in my house. And they all came for me. Yay. I really want to get to know each and every one of you. And I really want to try to find my true love and move out of my parents' basement. And that's what I want to. Frank seems like an awesome guy. I've seen him on, you know, I love New York and I love money, and I just think that we'd be a great match for one another. Now, if you'd like to look around, you could look around the house. You could get your bags and go upstairs and find a bed. There's not that much room, but <laughs> we'll squeeze you in someplace. We did our best to make you feel at home. Things are looking good. I got 15 hot girls living in my parents' house. They all seem to be getting along with my mother and father. Now, the thing is, I got to try to get these girls to come down to the basement. All right, I'll see you ladies in a little bit. And make sure you keep those rooms clean. What about that door? <laughs> when I saw Grandma's room, I was like, holy Jesus. Literally, holy Jesus. I didn't want to sleep in there because I felt like a sinner. <laughs> no, let's go to a different one. Oh, 
love it. So cute. My instinct with one of the girls is run straight to the boys' room. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, this was Frankie's room. I said, of course, we picked the right room. <laughs> what up? I noticed that all the beds were taken. So I kind of just walked into the blue room and just took someone's bag off their bed and claimed that bed for myself. Oh my god, how colorful. This is a sister's room. <laughs> that room oh, wait, Ruben! Ruben. Where, are Where are you guys staying? In here! <laughs> I took the girls' room because I'm like a little bit of a girly girl. So like I jumped in that bed right away. How am I gonna get my bag? I know. What if somebody takes my bed? Someone's gonna take our bed. You wanna stay here and I'll go down and get it? <laughs> Carrie and I are friends. We knew each other from home. You stay here and I'll get the really big one and then Carrie is my girl and like of all people, I'll have her back. <laughs> Who's in that bottom one? Um, Kathy. I don't think there's enough brooms. I took the girl though. People are going home. <laughs> I think. So? Yeah, because there's not enough room. I took that bitch with the flower pants. I took her bag off. Oh the my bag. god. I my bag on there. Good. What is she wearing? <laughs> She's wearing like hippie clothes. <laughs> Annie, we're looking at your pants and we're like, girl, why are you wearing these flower faded out stretch pants? Felice! What up? <laughs> why are you doing that to yourself? It's so unattractive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, guys, want to sit over here? We have something set up really fun for you ladies. My parents and I, we hired a photographer. As you can see, we're very big into family, and we have pictures everywhere all over the house. And we're going to take a family photo to see how you fit with our family. Oh, that's so cute. One of those pictures will be part of our family album forever. You know, I decided we might as well take a picture with the two of us to see how we look together. Because the picture is very important. It says a thousand words. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hello. Good. What's your name? I'm Melody. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm a restaurant manager. How old are you, Melody? I'm 35. 35? Yes. Wow. Melody, she might be a little bit too old for me. I do want kids. But men could have babies at 80. Look at Tony Randall, although he's dead now and can't enjoy his son. But point is, women can't have kids forever. And one, two, three. I am Mandy. I am going to be 30 in three weeks. I'm from Long Island, New York. Wow, Mandy's hot. Unfortunately, after 12 years of living on my own, I had to move back home this year. <laughs> We can't live in your basement, we can live in my attic. Oh, you're not living in my basement. Go, <laughs> go to your attic and take him with I you. I cook, I clean, I do laundry. That's great, but you're still not living in my basement. <laughs> I'm looking to get rid of him, I don't want to add you. I know, my parents are looking to get rid of me too. All right. Take a family photo. I was just going to say that, take a family photo. Family photo? Oh. You never know, you may end up in my family, oh. so we have the photo already. Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> no. You would be lucky if you ever got into my family. I'm gonna be lucky if she marries you. She better go back to that attic. Oh, God. Look at that. Take a family, family photo. Family Take a photo. family photo. Aww. You're gonna sit next to me. So I'm meeting the girls and we're taking a family photo with them. So far, so good. Or so far, my mom does nothing but complain. You never know, you may end up in my family, oh. so we have the photo already. Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky you. Everyone ready? I like Mandy because she would be a lot of fun. It seems like she likes to party. Bye. She's full of crap. I'm gonna be lucky if she marries you. She better go back to that attic. <sighs> she tells me that I should be glad that she's in my family. She should be glad if she ever gets in my family, and she better not get in my family. She said she had a surprise for me, so don't What's ruin it for me. I wanna get it. I don't know. I wanna get it. You don't it. want anything from her. Surprise is she's 40. Well, it's the second girl, and my mom's already complaining. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to get my parents involved. Ciao. Hello. Hi. My name's Felicia. What do you do? 
I am currently leading my MBA in accounting, so I have a brain to this beauty. Felicia is incredibly hot. I'm 100% Italian. Helps that she's Italian. One, two, three. I'm Melissa. <laughs> And I am from Minnesota. I bartend as a living. Seriously, I'm not even gonna lie to you. You look so buff right now. As he calls it, that's his job. <laughs> Bye. My name is Jenny. I work for a government contracting firm. My dad happens to own that government contracting firm. This is the girl you should pick. Oh. <laughs> You'll get out of that basement, all right? <laughs> you stop. My name is Annie. Could I ask you what made you come? I saw Frank on um, I Love New York, and I just thought that he was really cute. And he just seemed like a really honest and loyal person. That's very nice. So I'm meeting Annie, and she doesn't really look like my typical type, but she seems like a very sweet girl. Hi. Hello. My name is Carrie. What made you decide to come here? I hate being single. How long have you been single? I've been single for two years. I like to have like a, a manly, I just, I like that feeling, you know? Spooning. I love spooning. Carrie's a real genuine person and I definitely feel a connection. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Hey, Tammy. I'm Asian and I'm pretty sure you don't have any problems with Asian Chinese food, do you? I've never had it. Actually, I'll be, what are you talking about you never had? You never, never had, had Chinese food? You never had Chinese food. Well, Asian Chinese food, she said, it might be different. <laughs> My name's Renee. I'm a relationship-oriented girl. I have been engaged twice. My eight-year relationship around my birthday, he never came home. And my second, he ended up cheating on me with lesbians. <laughs> right off the bat, she's giving me, I think, just a little bit too much information. Beautiful. I can already sense a connection between Frank and I. I could tell that he could feel it. It was weird. Dana, I'm 25. How would you motivate Frank? A little kick in the ass. We're like the hottest family ever. <laughs> My name is Stephanie. Did you say what you did for a living? I model. I do lingerie, swimwear. I do everything except new. So what brought you to the show? I'm looking for you. Why me? Because you got a fun personality. I mean, you're great. So nobody pushed you to do this? Day. This was all by yourself? Not at all. You are my focus. Stephanie's a real pretty girl, but showing up with an entertainer shirt, is that girl here to know Frank or here to know the entertainer? Because we're two of the same people. Well, my name's Carrie. I'm 23. I'm from Chicago. What do you do? <laughs> Sorry. You have any brothers and sisters? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you do for a living? Right now, I work at a gym, and I'm also a promo girl on the weekend. <laughs> Let's take this family picture. Yes. Right. Wow, Carrie, conversation is definitely not your strong point. Hello. 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 What's your name? Christy. I'm 21. I'm from Chicago. Family is the utmost importance to me. We need a girl that's going to have family values like you do. And you think you could be that great girl? Yeah, I do. Christy's awfully young. We're gonna have to see if I can learn to deal with that. I'm Jeff. Could I ask you what made you come here for Frank? Yeah, because I think you're like really outgoing and like crazy. In a good way. I think now you're like, whoa, Jess. But no, I think crazy in a good way. Like, like to have fun, like to try new things, you know, not boring at all. So I meet Jessica. Is she on something? Okay, my name's Kathy. I'm very attracted to Frank. You know, what I've seen you like, I think that we're like very similar. I have a really good feeling that we're gonna connect. So I think that, you know, we're really gonna hit it off once we actually get, you know, the chance to know each other. Kathy can talk, she talks. I went to the same school since I was like nine years old. A lot of this summer, like we spent hanging out on my deck and tanning. It's really funny because I just found out that one of her teachers is brothers with one of my friends. And talks. Like I'm really loud and like I don't stop talking. You usually have to tell me. Stop. Well, you have to stop now because we're going to yeah, take a family photo. Yeah, we're going to take a family photo. And talk. I like to shave my legs. And... I hope so. <laughs> she yeah. can't even stop talking when we take a picture. As, a, as opposed to berating the hair. Yeah, I know what you mean. Let's 
Go see these girls. I think that's a good idea. I can't wait to get to know all these girls. Help Maybe. your old lady out of this couch. Come on. So when they took our pictures, my mom decided to set up a nice welcoming party. And during the welcome party, my parents got an opportunity to speak to the girls, and so did I. Let's go sit over here and talk. So it's time to mingle with the girls. I can't wait to see which one of these girls is right for my Frankie. You have any questions you want to ask? Like how my personality is and everything. Like I would never like let a guy like walk all over me. Like if I feel like Frank is like out of line, like I'm gonna tell him so quick. I think that's great. I'm daddy's little girl. Never told me what to do, but gave me advice. You could do this, you could do this. You're very close with your father? I'm extremely close. Yeah. I got two dads. <laughs> and they both think I'm nuts. Actually, they both think I'm a lesbian because I've been single for so long. I don't know what this girl's sexual orientation is, and I don't care. No, you know, no, there's nothing no. wrong with that, but no. you're on the wrong show. But she's not ending up with my Frankie. Oh, you think anything's going to go on? I got four girls in Grandma's bed. <laughs> and you got God looking at you, so you better watch Wait, yourself. Hey, listen, if you get too loud, I'm going to be a little uncomfortable. <laughs> so you take it easy. You want to get on my good side, Mandy? Shut up. You better watch your ass. Uh oh. Do me a favor and take that advice, Mandy. If you're smart, you will. So we actually have been dying for a tour of the basement. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. We're having a welcoming party, and Jenny and Chrissy want to come see my basement. Why not? I'm not saying no to these hotties. This is my basement. I love it. Yeah, hey, it does what I need it to do. You know, I'm not gonna lie. My basement definitely has a love den appeal. It drives the ladies crazy. So, okay, what are you looking for in a girl? A girl that's understanding, a girl that's supportive, someone that's really gonna get along with my family, especially my mother, because she's the toughest for me. Why did you come on to this show? Well, I'll start with you. I'm here because I've never had a boyfriend before. Really? Never had a boyfriend. Never? Never had a boyfriend. Why? I don't know. It's definitely, that's all you, because I'm sure you have that's no problem finding one. I'm thinking, oh my god, this girl is so beautiful and just wish I could get Frank alone and show him that I really want to get close to him. Everybody. I have a question. I know you went on the New York show, but are you attracted to black women? Honestly, or... I have never been with a black woman except Tiffany. So to have a gorgeous, beautiful black woman oh. standing in front of you, gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, you are absolutely Thank you. really beautiful. Thank really. you. Both of you are. But I'm just talking to you right now. You're very, very beautiful. Thank you. Very. I feel so good that Frank is only paying attention to me. He's got this big smile and like love all in his eyes. I'm like, oh, poor Christy. You're not getting any attention. <laughs> right now, names Jenny and Christy. Christy. Now, your name I never forgot. Yeah. I'm sorry. He'd even give me a chance. I just know I have to step it up and get to know Frank, and that's all I can really do. Yeah. Okay. okay, Carrie and Jess. Okay. Yeah. Miss Home yet? Um, I live with my dad in Chicago and my little brother, so, and my mom lives in South Carolina. My daughter loves Chicago. Oh yeah, I like the fast pace. My first impression of Carrie M is, she's a sweet girl, and I wouldn't mind at all having her in my family. How do you girls like being here? I think it's a lot of fun. I definitely am excited to be here. All the girls are awesome, and definitely excited to have meet, or met, um, Frank. That's good, that's good. Definitely. I can't quite figure this girl out, but I do know that she says definitely a lot. Yeah, I definitely, definitely. I definitely, you definitely. 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 I definitely have. I got to know you a little better now. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you want to do with your life? What are your dreams and I want to goals? be an artist. Really? Yeah. What do you do? Like, you draw? I do um, video art. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah. I mean, most people don't know what that is. It's, is it like video games? <laughs> That's what someone else <laughs> well, So, what makes you think that out of all these girls here that you're the perfect one for me? I'm really caring. And I'm really loyal. And also, I'm definitely like... Cookie. That's why you're an artist. Well, yeah. And so am I, and that's why I sort of, you know. <laughs> Listen, there's a bad cookie and a good one. You're a good one. 
that's what I thought about you too. And like, that's why I, I thought you were cute. <laughs> I think Frank is totally sexy. I mean, like, if he wanted to, he could suck on my toes. I mean, I don't want to force anyone into anything, but, you know, that would be cool. Hug. Yeah, of course. Steady life hugs. Throughout this whole process, you got to be very careful. My mother needs to like the woman I'm going to choose. She's cute. Your mom is like my mom, like, you know, Italian mom. You know, we're protective of her little baby and just loving, but strong, like a strong woman. We don't I, have a question. I could definitely Do you relate. sing? Yeah, I sing Do you? a little bit, yeah. You just seem like, yeah, a really down-to-earth person and someone like I could, you know. That's what I want to know. I want to know who Frank is. And you're going to get to know who Frank is. You like, are who you are. We're here yeah. to get to know you. Yeah, and that's good. <laughs> and whatever. Carrie M is a really sweet girl, but I think there's some attraction between Dana and I. I mean, come on. She's hot. You just seem like, yeah, a really down-to-earth person and someone like I could. And I feel like you are, like, a lot like me. Like, you're so passionate and, like, the angel takes over the devil. <laughs> and I see that. Which one should I listen to? <laughs> so now, what do you do again for a living? You, I know, model. Hi. How'd you find out about this audition? Um, was it through modeling agency? Was it through... No, probably looking online. Really? Like you saw me, you watched I Love New York? Yeah. When I got eliminated on I Love New York, how did that happen? You know what? I can't even tell you that. I can't tell you who was there. So I'm talking to Stephanie. She didn't really know anything about me. I don't know if she's really here for me. Is today okay. the first day you ever met me, actually? No, I know a lot about you, though. <laughs> I am here because I'm looking for love. He's looking for love. And the questions that was asked, anybody in this house, I don't think would have known the answer. So hold on, I done did my research. I'm just asking, I'm yes, just asking. Yes, I done did my research. I know a lot about you. <laughs> A little sketchy about that. The last thing I want to do is make any wrong decision. But what do you actually know about me? I'm looking for love. You're looking for love. So I'm in the middle of the mixer, and I'm talking to Stephanie. I have a feeling that something is not right with this girl. I think we have a lot in common. I am here for you. Do you ever date a white guy? Not at all. Do you ever kiss a white guy? Hmm. How could you not remember? My one-on-one -on -one with Frank was horrible. He was tagging me with unexpected questions. Because, like, if you didn't see me on TV, how would you know anything? Like, you did research on me. I think we have a lot in common. OK, are you an actress, too? Not at all. OK, just asking. I think that's kind of ridiculous. She doesn't even really know anything about Frank. I am honestly truly here for you. A part of me believes you. Okay. Another part doesn't. The time I spent with Stephanie, awkward. Perfect timing, eh? Meeting someone's parents for the first time is just like awkward and you don't always know what to say or how to impress them or how to not weird them out. What made you come here? When I saw him on TV, he just seemed like a really stand-up guy. A lot of people are like, oh, Frank like lives in his parents' basement. Like that's like a bad thing. Being with your family is really important. Spending time with your family is really important. That's good. My first impression about Annie is uh, she's a real sweet girl. But knowing Frank the way I do, I can't see him with Annie. And I'm going to feel really bad, but I think that she's going to be the first one gone tonight. I live in Brooklyn, and it is extremely hard to come across a gentleman, a family guy, a person who has a good heart. I think that your son qualifies for all of those. I like the simple things. Carrie seems like a very warm and friendly girl. You know, the minute she walked into my front door, I said, this girl could end up my daughter-in-law. I feel like we have a lot in common. He likes the Yankees. I love the Yankees. <laughs> yeah. OK, the last thing is the chicken. Everything else goes except for the potato salad. I am noticing Mandy cleaning up like it's her job. She's either trying to make a really good first impression, or she might be OCD. Okay, so we got chicken. Sandwiches of some sort, just so you know, honey. Okay, this is all the sandwiches and the deviled eggs. This is all the chicken. Great. Which is so that it's great. all organized and that okay. you guys understand. Come on, it's getting close to elimination and Mandy's over there cleaning the kitchen like the housekeeper. If there's one thing I don't like, it's a kiss ass. Everything that I couldn't find. I appreciate find, it. Sit down and, and relax.
break. So what'd you think? It's gonna be a tough decision, Ma. The advantage of me doing this at my own house is that I got my parents that can come down and help me with deliberation and give me their opinions on these girls. Like, what do you think the three best girls here? I think Melissa is one. Jenny is another one. I like Jenny. And now you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I like Annie. What do you think right? about Kathy? She talks to Wade. Oh, I know. man. She uh, she, she's she, nice, but... She's very, she's very nice, but I don't need someone talking. that talks more than I do. What about Stephanie? Stephanie, like I said, I'm still iffy-iffy. Like, I really think that, you know, she's more here for TV. Mm. What about Carrie? She seems down to earth, very nice, very friendly. I mean, she looks like she always has a smile on her face. There's one I have to tell you I don't care for. I don't like this Mandy. I think Mandy's a phony. I could see myself arguing with this girl all the time. Well, that means she's staying. Yeah, I should I should have kept my mouth shut because she may end up being my daughter-in-law and I'll have to kill myself. Why would I, come on, why would I why would I do that? It looks like she's trying, maybe she's trying a little too hard. Please. She's a phony. That is basically the type of girl that somehow or other you always wind up right. with. Ultimately, you know, it's really my decision. And uh I trust That's you'll it. make the right decision. I, I'm going to. Good luck. I'm going to. Thanks, I mom. love you. All right. I think I'll meet you guys. I'll see you upstairs. Yeah, I'll see you upstairs for elimination. Good luck. So it's the first night, and just thinking about elimination is very tough. I mean, I really don't really know these girls very well. I'm not looking to break a girl's heart. I'm just looking for one that's going to soothe mine. First night and just thinking about elimination is very tough. I mean, I really don't really know these girls very well. I'm not looking to break a girl's heart. I'm just looking for one that's gonna soothe mine. I'm kind of nervous about elimination. I mean, the time that we spent together was great, but I don't feel like there was really enough time that we spent together. I hope that Frank notices the fact that I am domesticated, that I will always take care of my man, always love and cherish his family the way that a woman is supposed to. The ladies look more beautiful. He's getting dressed. How are you doing? Hello. Doing good. How are you? Fine. Well, ladies, there's only 15 of you, and there are 11 beds. But my mother said that if two want to sleep on my grandmother's bed and one want to sleep on the pullout that we got from the attic, 13 are welcome to stay. <laughs> if you receive a key to my basement, that means you still have access to my heart. If you do not receive a key to my basement, it means you will be going home tonight. This has been a really, really tough decision. You know, I know the elimination is going to get really tough in the future, but right now, I got it narrowed down to a couple of girls. This first girl, she's really, really stunning. And I really hope that she's here for the right reasons. Jenny, come get your key. <laughs> Jenny, will you accept this key to my basement? Yes. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. She is gorgeous. She's got a body to match it, and she smells great. <laughs> When I get the first key, I'm thinking, like, these girls better set their cookies up if they want to go against me in this competition because Frank is mine. I don't normally date tiny girls, but I have a big appetite, and I can't wait to try this girl's cooking. Tammy, please step forward. I've never dated a, a short girl in my life. She's, like, 4 foot 11. But let me tell you something. Tammy, she looks great. Carrie? I was very excited when I got my key because I'm in the top four. That means that right away, he's feeling me. Felicia, please step forward. Felicia, will you accept the key to my basement? I do. This next key is going to go to a girl who seems a little bit kooky, but she has a carefree spirit. So Jess, come get your key. <laughs> Jessica. I kind of like her. Like, she just comes into a room and she, you just start laughing immediately. And that's a good thing. Laughter is awesome. I had a really great conversation with this woman, and I really, really want to get to know her. Annie, 
stepfather. Annie is such a sweet girl. She's not really my type, but I do have an open mind. Melody? I want Dana to come down. When I get my key to the basement from Frank, I'm just so excited. It's just bringing me one step closer for it just being me and him. Well, this girl, she's got a lot of spunk to her, which I dig. So, Christy, Christy, do you accept the key to my basement? I do. Thank you. I'm honestly here for him, so I hope he keeps me around to get to know me better. <sighs> Renee. All the girls are wearing these keys on their neck, and there's nothing on my neck. I was so scared. Melissa, please step forward. Do I accept it? Yes. I yes, do, do you accept it? <laughs> That's right, I knew I forgot something. Can this girl talk a lot? Kathy, please step forward. <laughs> It felt like a relief when he finally called my name, but honestly, some of the girls, like Anne or Renee, I was just kind of wondering what the fuck was going on. All right, ladies. There's three of you left. I am down to my last key. So I'm standing there waiting for Frank to decide who he's going to keep, and it's just feeling like it's going in slow motion. My heart right now is pounding out of my chest. It was the most nervous I ever experienced. It's a really hard, hard decision. This is the last key to my basement. I'm very, very nervous because I'm like, I think I'm going home. Come on already, will you? Because I know you made the wrong decision. That's why it's taking you so long to give this key out. left and I'm down to my last key. So the last key is between myself, Mandy, and Stephanie. All I could do is keep faith, stay positive. My heart is beating off the meter. Mandy's not here for my son. I don't know what her motives are. I think she's a fake through and through. <sighs> All right. Start off with Carrie. You were so cute. I just didn't feel that connection, really. I would try talking, and I would love to be your friend. She's a nice girl, and she was. And I'm she just is. saying how I feel. And I'm telling you how I, I feel. I, I know she's a sweet girl. I just saying. All right, Stephanie. You're a very beautiful woman. I'm not really sure of why you came here. And I tried asking you. Know, I really don't feel like you even know a lot of, you don't know anything I don't feel like you really know about me. It makes me a little skeptical. Mandy, my mother really doesn't even like you. <gasps> it's not that I don't like her. I thought you well, were very honest. Uh, well, now I am going to be honest. You know, you kind of. I thought you were kind of forward at the beginning when, you, when we were taking the pictures and you turned around and said, you should be happy if I'm in your family. And I said, no, you should be happy to be in my family. She completely humiliated me. I was completely embarrassed. I was like, what did I do to deserve that, you know? And that's what I think. But it's his decision, not mine. I know, Ma. This is very nerve-wracking a little bit, all right? Relax. I'm hoping that Frank can see that Mandy's just obnoxious, and he doesn't need her in the house. It is a very difficult decision. I know it is. They're all nice girls. No, they are. I didn't say they they're are. not. They are. I hope you're going to take my advice. Mandy, come get the key to the basement. I figured. Sorry, Carrie. I think he made a mistake. Thank you. You have to be kidding me. He picked Mandy over Carrie M. He must be nuts. You accept the key to the basement? I do. I got the key, 
you know, lucky I didn't pass out. Frank was like, you know, as much as my mom doesn't want you here, I still want to get to know you, so here's this key. I'm really, really sorry. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave my parents' house. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I do think he should have listened to his mom. I think his mom knew the better choice for him, clearly. <laughs> but you know, whatever, live and learn. He's going to have to deal with the kook he's got in his house now. Whatever. I am honestly lost for words. Trust me, he really made the wrong decision. We'll go up to bed. All I'm right. tired. Good night. Good night, Mom. Mandy better sleep with one eye open tonight because she hasn't heard the last from me. I would like to toast to moving out of my basement and finding the love of my life. Woo!